Okay, um, so this is the second video um, where we're focusing on um, the use of, of Kinta in creating our uh, graphical user interface that is in preparation for the um, assessment, the program assessment component two uh, of Educast GCSE uh, of computer science. So we are going to be focusing on uh, developing what we started doing in the first video which was just creating our kind of screen, our, our window. So if I just run this here, and you can see it's created this uh, window uh, based upon the dimensions that we put in there um, and also the, the size of login screen. So we got to that point in the last video where we just created our, you know, our window effectively. Now what we need to do is um, make some, some form elements for our interface. Because we're doing a, a, a kind of login screen, so we're going to need, um, obviously, we need somebody, the ability to enter a username. We need the ability to enter the password uh, and then submit this, this data, this information onto, onto the next step to double check to see if you know that username and password do indeed match on the system. So um, what we need to do is create the, the actual form, the, the, the elements that the, the user is going to interact with. The first thing we're going to have a look at is creating um, some labels. So a label, obviously, just a text label um, to go above our um, input box. So what we're going to do, we're going to create our first label using our camel case um, method of creating username of uh, variables. So you can see we've got label username. So this is using camel case. So we can try and get used to that. So a lowercase to start with, and then uppercase for the, for the other words. Uh, so that's our variable. I'm going to reference the label, which is part of the Kinta module, uh, and it will allow us to put uh, text onto onto our window our widget. So label, and then what we're going to do is that we're going to need to reference our window, which we defined previously as login window, um, and then obviously we need a text uh, that's going to go with it, and this is going to be just user name, like so. There we go. Um, then after that, we're going to uh, just annotate it, keep things annotated as, as we go along. Uh, so this is just creating or creates a label um, with the title username, the title username. Okay, uh, I'm going to add an annotation above just to separate out, obviously, uh, within our function here. Um, I'm going to put in, uh, these are the, uh, blah, 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 the, these are, oops, these are, are the uh, form elements um, with our labels, boxes, etc. Boxes and so on. Uh, so we've got our username there, so the, the actual word that's going to appear, the text, and we need a box that's going to go with it where they'll actually type it in. So our variable, I'm going to call that user name, and then we're going to have um, obviously. We need to be able to put the box in there. And we use this entry um, method that we've got here, or this function called entry, uh, and that allows us to obviously input data. Like so. So we've got the label for username, we've got the text box that's associated with it, and you can see we're referencing our login window because this is you know our our screen, our window that we're working with. And we need to keep referencing that. So We've got a username, we need the password. So we're going to have another label, um, which we're going to call uh, password. And again, it's going to be a label. And it's going to be a login a window. Oops, window. Uh, the text that's going to go with that is obviously it's going to be a password. Like so. Brackets, put an annotation in, creates a label with the title password, like so. Uh, and then obviously we just need a box, uh, the entry box to go with it. So password, variable, uh, entry, um, and then dots, uh, login. Done. There we go. Okay. So there we go. We've got our kind of elements that we're starting to create. We've got the labels, we've got the text boxes to go with them. Now what we need to do is just lay them out in our interface. So uh, another annotation to go under here. Um, these are uh, how 
the elements laid out. Will be laid out. Okay. Now, there's different ways of doing it in, in Kinta. Uh, in the sample assessment, which I've taken a lot of this from, it is using something called pack. Okay. There's uh, something called grid as well that you can use to lay things out. But we're going to be using pack, as I say, that's what they've used in the sample assessment. So um, we're going to reference the, the label for username, like so. And then the method pack goes next to it. Okay. Um, and then we've got the username, the text box, the entry box. And again, we're just going to pack, like so. Label, uh, password like so and then obviously pack and then the last thing to do is just put in the password uh, entry box like so so you can see we just we just this is how we lay things out this is how we're going to sort of like show things if i just run that that might become a bit clearer than not me talking about it so i'll just save that and then run it okay and there you can see what we've got is our um our, our, our interface which is coming along slowly uh, so we've got the window which is 200 by 200 pixels you can see uh, we've then got our uh, label which is username we've got the entry box to go underneath it you can see i can type my information uh, data in there i got my password label and i got a password entry box to go with it okay not much help at the minute because we've got no way of submitting what we're typing in so that's the next thing for us to do so let's very quickly finish this off by creating a button so button btn equals capital so what's your capitals be careful when you're, you're typing always check uh, if you get um, any syntax errors just check if you've got the caps in the right place to start with uh, so we're creating the button um, again referencing our, our screen login window and the text that's going to go with that is going to be uh, equals login seems a good way of uh, putting it we could put submit or something like that and then what we're going to do is obviously use pack and hopefully you should be able to work out that that is just going to put our button underneath the other elements that we've, we've put in there so let me just annotate what we've got here so this is the button submit uh, the data or information so let's just save it and run it. There you go. So we've got the elements now of our kind of like uh, login uh, feature for our system. We've got the label. Okay, so you can see we've got a label, username there, label username, which is just the text. We've got the entry box, which is uh, given the variable username, which is this box here. Then we've got password. Then we've got the other entry box for password. And then finally, we've got the button there. So the button, which is then going to uh, obviously submit the information data ready for us to sort of authenticate it. Um, obviously not doing much at the minute because we haven't put any commands in for it to do that, which we will do in the next video. Okay. Thank you very much.